Hello everyone, in this video we will be discussing the concept of quartile layer, quartile and discrete series that means if there is a discrete series how to find out quartile. Let's, let's understand the quartile a bit before we move into the question. Uh, all of you uh, understand median right, that median divides the data into two parts. So uh, let's, let's understand it through a graph. So if I am saying this line is representing the data probably these are the marks of the students in a particular class of um, students you know and the students are scoring between 0 to 100 marks then actually median divides the data data exactly into two parts that means uh, if in this class there are 60 students number of students are 60 then 30 students are going to uh, be is going to be scoring below median and 30 students will be scoring above the median that means 50% data on either side so I'm repeating this thing if you have a class of 60 students and they are take a test and uh, their median marks are let us suppose out of 100 is uh, 52.7 let's say I'm assuming a number so this is these are the median marks of 60 students who have taken a test where the maximum marks are 100 these are maximum marks and the minimum marks are 0. Then exactly half of the student, 50% of the students will be scoring below 52.7 and half of the students will be scoring above 52.7. Now what exactly quartile does? If I extend the problem a bit, that means again there is a data of 60 students and they are again scoring on the same test between 0 to 100. What quartile does is actually, quartile divides the data into four equal parts. That means 20, so this is this will be first Q1, first quartile, or I can also call it a lower quartile. This is uh, right at the center, which is Q2 and also known as uh, middle quartile. And this value right here is Q3, that is known as a upper quartile. So what quartile does is it divides the data exactly into four equal parts. That means in this class of 60 students, 25% of students will be scoring below this particular value. Let us assume this Q1 comes out to be 22, Q3 comes out to be 74 and this uh, Q2 again is 52.7. Notice Q2 is always equal to median. They are, they are same things. So uh, this is how the distribution actually takes place. That means uh, the bottom 25% of students will be scoring below 22 marks here. The top 25% students will be scoring above 74 marks because it is the value of third quartile and 50-50% on both sides and between Q1 and Q3 the center 50% of the data falls. So this is the concept of the quartile and uh, so first we will understand how to calculate quartile in uh, uh, I would say uh, so first we will understand how to calculate quartile in a discrete distribution, ungrouped distribution. So this is the question right here in front of me. You can see that uh, there are marks of the students which are given in this data set, imagine a situation. So I will be calculating lower quartile, upper quartile and middle quartile that means Q1, Q3 and Q2, Q2 I just explained. And I will also be calculating median so that I can uh, verify that median is always equal to Q2. So let's start with the calculations right here. Uh, step one uh, remains similar as steps of median. First is uh, step is going to, I'm going to arrange the data in ascending or descending order. So for my own convenience, I'm arranging the data into ascending order. That means two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, twelve, and 14. So I have arranged the data into an increasing order. You can choose it other way around. You can arrange the data into decreasing order also. Let's first of all do the calculations for Q1. So I'm, my objective is to find out Q1. So in order to calculate Q1, the first step is calculate n plus 1 divided by 4. Why I'm dividing it by 4? Because quartile divides the data into 4 equal parts and what is n is total number of observations. So if I look into the observations here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 observations in total are there. So n becomes 8 in this particular case, n becomes 8. 
so i'm going to calculate n plus 1 by 4 so fundamentally i calculate if i write it more specifically r times n plus 1 by 4 what is r r is the number of quartile which i'm calculating so in this case i'm calculating first quartile q1 isn't it so r will become equal to 1 so 1 times n plus 1 so how many values are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 i've already written it here so it is going to be 8 plus 1 divided by 4 that becomes 9 by 4 and uh, when i calculate 9 by 4 it comes out to be 2.25 this gives me a hint that my first quartile falls between second value and third value 2.25 is the location which i'm trying to identify so how i'm going to calculate first quartile it will be second observation of the data plus 0.25 times third observation minus second observation of the data now in this case i will be looking into the data uh, i'll be counting the data right from the left i'll not be counting it from right because uh, you will understand the logic later on so what is the second value here first second third value is 3 plus 0.25 what is the third value 4 minus second value which is third three again so four minus three is one one times 0.25 so this calculation gives me 3.25 so this is the value of my first quartile and uh, once i will plot the data then i will try to understand so if you look into 3.5 3.25 this is falling right here 3.25 okay now, now let's do a calculation for q3 so how i'm going to do a calculation for q3 again rn plus 1 by 4 so instead of 1 r will become now 3 i've already said r means the number of quartile which i'm calculating 3 times n plus 1 that means again 8 plus 1 by 4 that gives me 27 by 4 And when I calculate it, it becomes 6.75. So it gives me a clear hint that my quartile value falls between 6th and 7th observation. So Q3 is going to be 6th observation plus 0.75 times 7th observation minus 6th observation. So let's go ahead. My 6th observation is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 that makes it what the sixth observation is 9 plus 0.75 if you look into the seventh observation the seventh observation is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 that means 12th 12 minus sixth i already know 9 so if i calculate it it gives me 9 plus 0.75 times 3 and uh, this gives me 9 plus 2.25 and this comes out to be 11.25 so 11.25 is the value of my second quartile somewhere in between here 11.25 so you can see in the data set 11.25 is falling somewhere here let's do the calculation for second quartile that means q2 now r will become what you guessed it right it's 2 now r is 2 n plus 1 again 8 plus 1 by 4 that gives me 18 by 4 which comes out to be 4.5 that means q2 is going to fall between fourth and fifth observation so how the q2 is going to be calculated i hope you can calculate it now easily 4 plus 0.5 times fifth observation minus fourth observation so what is my fourth observation 1 2 3 4 that makes it 7 plus 0.5 times fifth observation is 8 8 minus 7 and on calculation it gives me 7.5 now let's check it with the median so i will be calculating median here so you can refer to the previous video median is exactly it should come out equal to q2 since the number of items are even so the formula is n by 2th item plus 
plus n by 2 plus 1th item divided by 2. So, what is n? n is 8. So, 8 by 2 is like 4th item and 8 n by 2 is 8 uh, sorry n by 2 is 4 plus 1 that means 5th item divided by 2. So, if I look into the my data set my 4th item is 7 1 2 3 4 and 8th uh, 5th item is 8 divided by 2 that also gives me 7.5. So, it is verified that q2 is equal to median always. Now, if you look into the data set the q2 or median is here somewhere 7.5. So, you can compare it now with the diagram. So, now if I am placing the data something like this. So, now I am putting up a line and it is the students are scoring 2 marks, 3 marks, 12 marks sorry 4 marks. 7 and 8 and 9 and 12 and 14. So, median is sitting right here 7.5, the first quartile is sitting right here 3.25 and the sorry first quartile is sitting right here this is Q2 or median and the third quartile is sitting right here 11.25 that is exactly Q3. So, you can see that 25 percent, 25 percent, 25 percent, 25 percent, four equal distributions. You can uh, compare it with the question right here. Thank you very much.